Hello, everybody. So we are in the middle of a three-day weekend, right? So for me, it's actually Saturday, and um, I didn't get enough videos to get through the weekend. So I'm going to do this one right now, and really, I'm just going to play. I got my art journal out that I made, all these papers and, you know, whatever to do, whatever I want to with and I think I'm gonna take just a plain white page and I got these inks these ink pads and I think I'm just gonna just do splotches on the paper with them just hitting it with the ink pads, the different colors. I'm not even um, trying to get rid of the square shape or nothing. I'm just coming in and putting it down. I like her colors, they're different, right? They're kind of muted a little bit. So I'm hoping that doesn't come off on the pad. I didn't think about that at first, but here we go. And I'm actually kind of liking the way this is looking. Why couldn't we do that for a background for a card? I think we could. I don't know why any, nobody ever does it. Okay, and I think I'm going to hit it again one more time with the green. I'm kind of seeing every color but the green. The green kind of disappeared. I usually like to keep it three colors, but I got four with this, so we'll just do that. There we go. Now I can see all the colors in there, and it's a different look. It's a different look. So, okay, next thing I'm going to do is my tangling. And I have to thank Dieta for sending me videos. Um, I bought some stencils from HSN. I'm not going to use those. And um, Dieta saw the interest, and so she sent me videos. And I have seen some really cool stuff, and I've been kind of doing some here and there. And I think... I'm just going to play around a little bit, but I do kind of have a favorite one. And so, now usually I do pencil, but a lot of them, they just go straight into the ink. So that's what I'm gonna do here. This is kind of, like I said, this is my favorite one to do. And you just make these squiggles. Mm, I thought maybe I might take that in a different direction, but I did it. I'm gonna take this one, come this way. Now there are people that have thought this up and I don't know the names. I don't have that, but if you watch the videos, they will give you the names of the people that have done it that have created 
these different tangles. Mm. Okay. I'm going to take this one up. I didn't stick on the line. This pen kind of goes in and out a little bit. But that's all right. I'll make that line look finished. And then we're just going to pick a spot. Let's start here. And make this. And then we do this. Little moon over it. And then we can do this. Okay. And that's going to have to be a bigger one because I wasn't very straight there. All right. Can you even see what I'm doing? I can't zoom in, I don't think. Let me do it down here lower, closer to you. So you do like a half a moon shape. Color that in. Go here. And then this, and then That was a very good. Okay. And you just pick different spots and do it. So to me, I always love to doodle. And it's really kind of a doing something with the doodles, you know, making actual doodle pictures. There is um, one she sent me that was all like florals. Okay. Um, so you don't have to do them all this this way. So let me show you. I'll just do my leaves a little different here. Or my petals. And just go up. So it doesn't have to be like that. I kind of like to do that way, but... And you don't always have to have the little space in between. So let me just show you. So do some up. Cause so now I'm making like a whole bush of them. And I have outlined papers with this and just 
just along the edges and stuff. Um, And this looks good, and I love this. But I thought it got a little... They don't have their things as big as I'm doing mine for some reason right now. I'm making my little bumps a little big. Um... Trying to see where oh we need them. All right. You can have them coming up off the page. We can do little Worlds. Coming off. Mm, little swirls here and the leaves with swirls in the corners here. That wasn't quite what I wanted, but okay. So I looked and I did this a bunch of times and I love it, but sometimes we just need to do some things and add. And so I got to where I like doing these little things coming out of it in different places. And sometimes when I make them small, I just do four. And sometimes I do six. And that is so. I'm going to have to pause you for a minute. Um, let me see where's the pause button. All right, everybody. Sorry about that, but I had a um, call I had to get. Okay, so I'm adding these little spriggy things. Just making a little curve in dots, a dot on top and dots on the side. And that just kind of adds to the look a little bit. It gives it more something. Didn't need to be rounder than that. <laughs> so when we put this, And we can put a bunch of these and they don't make it look like we just did too much, you know. So if we do too many flowers, then it starts to look like too many flowers. I 
I don't know what you can see and what you can't see. So let me hold it up. And I'll do one in here. So I'm just coming across. Putting a dot on top. And some dots on the sides. And look what a difference it makes. So this one here is too light. There. I think I need another one here. And some of them I do six on this side, and some of them I do four on this side. And that's what we get. Um, we could do butterflies. Do we want to do butterfly? I don't know. Yeah, not good at butterflies, that's for sure. There's my first one. That doesn't look like a butterfly. There's my second one. Uh, this paper looks really textured with this ink on it now. Um, anywhere else where I think we need one? I think it's looking pretty full and pretty good right now. Let's just do one right here just for fun. So the line, the dot. I just do four there. And uh, I think that needs the six. It's looking pretty big. All right. There we go. There is a page. Um, and that's going to be it for this video. Quick video. And I had to stop, so I'm going to have to put these videos together. Oh, you know, I'm not too crazy about doing that. But sometimes that's what happens. Oh. I did forget something. Look, one, one big one in the middle, two small ones on the sides. Makes a big difference in the flowers. One, and then small ones. Big difference, isn't it? So if you're like me and you can't draw, check out the different Zen Tango, Zen Tango, different stuff like that because it's nice. I have found Even if I gotta go wait in the waiting room at the doctor's or something, I like to just take a pencil now and some paper and just kinda do some tangling. It's relaxing. I'll show you the difference. I'll pull it up and just, I want to make sure I got them all. No, not that one. Okay. I 
they are with the lines makes a big difference, doesn't it? All right. All right, everybody. I think today's the 30th. All right. Just wanted to do something in this. I haven't done anything in here in a while, and I thought, you know, I need to do something in my journal. Uh-oh. Stuck. Mm, glitter glue sticks. These are the colors I used with the blender brushes. So look at that smeared. I don't remember doing that, but I remember that mess. Anyways, getting some stuff in here. It's gonna end up full of Zentango, huh? <laughs> All right, everybody. If you like my video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for joining me. I hope you join me again and everybody have a blessed day and a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.